Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video is about this window motor. Uh, I made one probably about eight months ago or something like that. And um, this is a new one I just built uh, for one of my customers. And for those of you that aren't familiar with this, um, it has four circuits. So we have four transistors in there. You guys can kind of see them in there. And then this has a um, inch and a half by inch and a half by inch and a half magnet. Um, on a one quarter inch shaft and then it has an adapter that goes to eight millimeters for the fan and um, what's special about this motor other than the really cool magnet in there it's it's a round magnet you can kind of see it um, this is all starboard like most of my products and then um, the bolts especially are 316 stainless um, so there's no interaction with the magnet and even on the frame um, this is 304 L here and then here is still stainless and then it goes into um, regular mild steel on the bottom because uh, if this was mild steel this magnet would align up with it and uh, it would slow it down quite a bit um, to give me an idea how strong these magnets are so, that, so if that was there you'd have a lot of interaction so so yeah, everything starboard, stainless steel. Um, these are aluminum. Um, yeah, and um, in the back here we have the on and off switch, and then we have a 25 watt, 300 ohm pot, so you could adjust it. And this adjusts all three circuits or all four circuits, I should say. And then we have the light bulbs. These are 20 ohm light bulbs as the primary resistance, and then you could adjust it from there with the pot. And um, yeah came out really nice um, these coils are a little over a pound and there's four well I should say two 18s and a 26 on each one so you have four 18s and two 26s the 26s are the trigger wire that comes down to here and yeah turned out really nice so um, on the output side we have the white and yellow as usual and then red and black um, as your input power with fuse so 5 amp fuse on it and um, this right here this is a little simple addition uh, this is so you could put it in the generator mode um, right now it's just set up in the regular SG Bedini motor mode uh, but if you want to switch it uh, I'll show you in a little bit we'll, we'll switch it over um, the generator mode doesn't work very good with the cap dump so for now we just have it on regular SG so this is a 4, four Bedini circuit on here so in order to start it all we do is push this switch turns on the the trigger wire and then we just give it a little bit of swing and it starts right up so right now we're a little under an amp and then this is our output with the cap dump. Um, the cap dump set at 18 volts, so we're basically doing 19 volts at two and a half amp, uh, going to the second battery, and then this is our primary battery. And uh, let's uh, see what the RPM is on this. So the RPM right now, about 750, and. Um, We'll just turn this thing up. So what we're doing is lowering the resistance to the to the transistors. You can see the lights are starting to come on. So that's the lowest resistance it goes, and, and all the lights are on. And now, so now we're at 1364 out there. And we're in a little, little over two and a half amps, and then we're doing two and a half amp pulses. But yeah, runs real smooth. So let's back this back off. Turn this off. So we switch this over into generator mode. So in generator mode, uh, we want to disconnect the the cap dump. 
Um, we could leave the positive plugged in because this just goes straight across here. Uh, we'll disconnect this side. So on generator mode, this is your normal positive output. The yellow is still hooked up. And then this is um, a negative line goes back to your primary battery. Lay back over here and the diodes face towards that battery because uh, we're going to be pulling it out it's going to be coming in here. So this, all you do is just hook this up right here. Make sure these are not connected. And then we're ready to go. So when you do on generator mode, you get the high voltage spike, the square wave, um, and the generator effect. So let's just start this up. So it's a little bit easier to measure measure on generator mode because there's no pulsing. So let's uh, turn this down to almost one amp. So one amp with about 650 milliamps output. And um, we could actually turn this up. That's about an amp and a half, and one full amp going back into the second battery. And as you go up, you start drawing more power, you kind of start losing the efficiency. You could hear it running a little bit slower. So definitely more efficient in the normal, normal mode, but um, yeah. It's putting out quite a bit of power though for charging when you're almost two amps. So. Anyway, pretty neat. So thanks for watching. Um, if you guys want a custom motor like this um, or anything else custom, just get a hold of me at my website, canergy.store. Thanks for watching.